Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris. I will be your host for this evening. And we are looking at the really useful Box2D editor, which is an editor I've made. Uh, you probably know about it already, obviously, you've seen from the web page. It fits into the um, standard Box2D testbed, um, which is very handy because that means you can stop the simulation, edit it, and then keep running. Um, and in this video, um, I know I said I was going to make some tutorials about how to use it. Uh, this is not one of those videos. This is just a, a quick demonstration video just to sort of show off um, some of the features that uh, the editor has. Okay, so what we're looking at here... Oh, uh, just before I get started, I'm making this video in 720p resolution. And I found the best way to um, view videos at the original resolution is to first come down here and select whatever resolution you want. Uh, in this case, I'll try 480. And then you can do pop out, which will bring the video into a window. So now you can see pixel for pixel uh, the original resolution as I uploaded it. Um, so this is a tank test, we're not going to be looking at that. Oh, this this was made with the editor, by the way. Um, I put a, a picture of a, a tank in there and then I just drew over the top uh, with the editor to get things in the right place. Anyway, enough of that. So that's a good way to look at things in the right resolution. <clears throat> Um, okay, so this is the Domino's test, which is uh, probably quite well known. And what we're going to do here is we can step into the editor and mouse over bodies, um, fixtures, joints, and even vertices individually to, to see what's what. Okay, so starting uh, from the basics, we have the help. The top left, if I push help, uh, if I push H there, I can get some context help about uh, various things. Um, zoom is done with control and holding down the right mouse. So it's quite quick to go from a uh, far, uh, very uh, large scale to small scale pretty easily. And you'll see, actually you probably won't see on a YouTube video, but there is um, color-coded lines in the background so you can see uh, this is like 1 meter or 10 centimeters or 10 meters or so on. So you can have a, get a rough idea of <coughs> um, what size things are. And you can also measure. Um, if I wanted to measure the distance from here to there, um, you know, I can just get a rough idea like that, measuring distances. Um, another thing you might not notice from the YouTube video is that right next to the cursor here I also have a faint uh, grey, some numbers there showing where the mouse is in the world. So if I move down here it will be almost zero. No, you, can't, you probably can't see it anyway in the YouTube video. Anyway, so there's four main modes, body, fixture, vertex and joint, uh, where we can edit things and I can switch between them by using the B, F, V and J keys. Uh, so body, here we have uh, bodies. I can mouse over and see the statistics for the bodies. Um, if the text showing up at the um, mouse cursor is annoying, you can place it in the top left like that instead. I like to have it here. So this just tells us um, all the feet, um, characteristics of the body that we're mousing over. And we can select bodies like this, uh, shift or control to exclude them from the selection and so on. And since bodies don't actually have anything tangible to look at, I've drawn this little grey circle to show where they are. Because sometimes, for example, a body that doesn't have any fixtures, like one of these ones is the uh, the default testbed body that uh, ground body that the testbed uses for the mouse joint. So you need to have something to look at a body 
that's just what those um, grey circles are. Uh, okay, fixtures. I just pushed F, so now I'm looking at fixtures. Uh, this will tell us what we're looking at here, polygon, uh, we should have some circles here, and each fixture has a mass and density and restitution, friction and all that stuff. And vertices, oh, we can select fixtures separately as well. And when we mouse over a fixture we'll see also a dotted line showing how it connects to the body that it's attached to. So all these three fixtures at the bottom, uh, sorry, left, bottom and right, these are all connected to the uh, body in the middle. And when you mouse over a body, it will do the same thing to show you what fixtures are attached to it. Um, okay, vertices, same thing. Um, not much information here, this is a vertex from a polygon and it's the index number one and so on, and we can select these, um, multiple selection as well. And of course joints. Uh, I haven't done all the joints yet, um, just the main ones. So we can see here we've got um, Revolute joint joining the pendulum there. I think they're all Revolute joints. Oh no, there's distance joint here. Revolute, Revolute, yeah. Um, Mm, okay, and obviously we don't just want to look at the properties, we want to do stuff like, uh, say, picking bodies up and moving them, picking multiple bodies up, moving them, oops. Um, so I've modeled the um, controls on Blender, so if, you f if you're familiar with Blender and you like it, you'll like this, uh, otherwise you might find it a little bit annoying to start with. Um, but it's a very efficient um, system once you get the hang of it. Um, okay, so that's moving bodies. Uh, rotating, I can rotate the selection around the, either the cursor, which is at zero, 0, at the moment by default, or I can rotate around the, uh, the center of the selection, um, like this. So I can rotate these, move them, and then I can just start the simulation running again so that the changes I made are, are basically can see what it's going to do straight away. Oops, stop. Um, okay, back in here. Um, what else do we have? Fixtures. Okay, let's take this body here and I can edit the fixtures in a body. So if I push F now, I'll go into fixtures mode and I can. Um, Hold on a second. You can copy and paste. So I just pasted another fixture onto this body. And if I paste again, um, okay, so now this body has three fixtures. And we can check that by selecting the body again. And just to make it a little clearer, I'll take the first fixture that was there and I'll move that away from the body's um, position there. So now we can see we have a body in the middle. That's the actual like the reference frame for this body and three fixtures attached to it and of course within the body we can oops, we can rotate and move the fixtures around and so on um, fixtures can also be scaled oh, scaling to, to the cursor at the moment uh, or you can scale around the center of the current selection so if I select these two the center of the selection is there. If I scale them, they'll go like this. And because these are all on the same body, when I run, we should see that they're all attached like that. So that's an example of uh, copying and pasting fixtures onto a body. Um, we can also do individual vertices. We can move them. Um, I can insert. I'm just holding down tab here. If I hold down tab, I can insert another verte vertex along here somewhere. So now I have a vertex in there. If I move this so that the polygon becomes non-convex, uh, it will tell me. Um, so I don't want to put it there. And if you have a selection of vertices, so I'll select these three verte 
vertices. And I can also scale them around either the uh, 0, 0 at the moment. I'll little make, make that a little bit, little bit more clearer. Uh, we have this thing called a cursor, which you will also be familiar with if you've used Blender. Uh, so I can put this cursor anywhere, and so my scaling of these vertices is going to be now around the cursor. And I can rotate vertices. This is rotating around the cursor or rotating around their center. Uh, and of course I can just move them as well. So what am I going to do with these? Um, rotate them a little bit and scale them down, up, up, yep. Run that. Oh, it's quite a bit heavier now, isn't it? But um, okay, so that's uh, vertices and fixtures. Um, we can oops, get back into editor mode. We can create a new body by first selecting the body type, um, moving the cursor somewhere and then creating a body. So now I have a new body. And onto this body I can place, uh, let's say, circle. And I can set here density, restitution, friction. Um, I'll give it a density of 2 and a restitution of 0.9, friction of um, zero say. Then I create the fixture, um, come back in here, switch into fixture mode, scale, uh, why isn't that working? Selecting bodies, okay, I want to select fixtures. Scale, um, yeah, do all kinds of stuff with that. So now I have a new body in the world and it's a bouncy one. <laughs>